What's going on, everybody? My name is Genius Spring, guys. Part 15 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, check me out on Twitch at Genius25. Link will be in the description below. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually completed our sixth dungeon and got our sixth instrument, the Coral Triangle. And in this episode, we're just going to be doing some side missions and all that, collecting some things, and playing this new mini game, which we're about to do. So, guys, let's get going here, get grinding. So, what we want to do first is actually make our way over here, start swimming this way. Watch out for all these, like, little bomb mushroom people. Hey, get out of my face. Leave me alone. We're going to actually head inside this cave right over here. And what's inside this cave? Well, you guys could probably know. Let me actually pull out the things that we're going to need. We're going to need that hook shot. But what is in this cave? It is. Look at that beautiful piece of heart right over there. That's exactly what we wanted, guys. But, yo, can you guys believe we are on part 15? Crazy. This is just crazy. We're collecting so much, and we're, like, almost done completing the game. Like, we're at 14 hearts out of 20. I think we're pushing 40 seashells, which is pretty close to 50. And 50 is the... The max seashell that is all the seashells but right here we actually make our way to this hut over here where we can play a new mini game which is the raft mini game which is awesome so we're gonna go talk to this guy in the raft shop what's he gotta say you there want to go on a raft ride for 100 rupees whoa dude 100 rupees is a lot but yeah dude let's do it. it's definitely gonna be worth it there are two ways to ride the rapids with the rapids raid the goal is to pick up as many items as you can the other way is the rapids race where you can try to get to the end as fast as you can which course will you be setting today Okay, we're going to be doing the Rapids Raid right now. We're just going to test out everything. Okay, the raft is ready for you outside. Enjoy. Let's get it. Let's get it. So when you hop on these rafts, you want to have your hook shot because that's kind of how you control these things. But here's a little raft right here. You can actually move just a tad bit. But if you got your hook shot, you can do this. Get like a nice little push forward and all that. But we're, what we're going to do first is actually make our way all the way over here because there are a few things. You want to have out your rocks feather too so you can hop and collect things too. <gasps> no, we want to go back here. Head down this way. There we go. Hop up here, collect all this stuff right here. Make our way up here and grab ourselves this piece of heart. Just chilling here. There are actually like plenty of rewards here. And this mini game is the best way to rack up rupees. Like the best way to rack them up. It is pretty cool. What we want to do is come over here. Actually hit this thing. What's in here? What we got in this chest chilling right here? Boom, more rupees. There are just rupees just floating around all here. A bunch of 20 rupees. Like you can pick up a ton. And usually at the end, the guy will give you some rupees too, which is just cool. So as you can tell, we have. Oh, I didn't even mean that. As you can tell. We have a little seashell sensor going off, so we're gonna try to want to get this bad boy. We're gonna come over here. Hey, let me get back here. Bring me over here. Hop up here. Give me that. All we want to do is make our way over here, and if we make our way into this little crevice right here, this little piece of land, we can actually start digging around, and there should be a seashell just chilling in here. Where's that? Where's my seashell? There it is, baby. I was looking for it. I know my sensor went off, but there we go. Now we can actually grab this. And actually start making our way towards the end. Because these are the only two items you can really get. Actually, let me bring out my hook shot once again. What I'm going to do is actually go this way. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, come on, what you want? All right, never mind. We're, I guess we're, Now, this is the way we're going. I can decide which way we're going. Look at all these rupees right here. Give me that rupee. Give me the rupees. No! I want the rupees. All right, so we're going to go here. Look at all those rupees. I want them. Let's go this way, this way. There we go. No, where are we going here? This is the way I want to go. There we go. There we go. Grab that rupee. Like, look at all these rupees showing here. Can we actually make it way over here? No, we cannot actually. It's all good. It's all good. We're just going to make our way towards the end. Start completing up everything. And we missed that rupee. It's okay. I'm not even worried anymore. We got plenty of rupees. Start making our way down here towards this way. That's that one. But we can get up here and actually collect all these. Look at that. We collected a ton of rupees already, and there's a bunch of rewards in here. So I'm actually going to go over here, try to get this diagonal shot. There we go. Now we can hop over here, grab all this stuff. I, I only really care about the rupees right now. And we can make our way down the waterfall, ending the ending the raft ride. No more grabbing stuff. The rapids raids is over. Do you want another go? Yeah, let's ride again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to tell us again that there's two ways to play. But this time we actually want to do the race because there are plenty of rewards to get in the race. So we're going to be doing the race a couple times here. We're going to be doing the Rapids Race, so we just got to try to get to this end as fast as we can. So let's get it, let's get it. Let's see how quick we can actually do this. I'm aiming for like 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get it. Three, two, one. Start! Go, let go! Yeet. You got to have that hook shot. Give us that quick stuff right there. Yeet. All right, we're going to head down this first waterfall. Come on, get... No! You're slowing our time up, buddy. There you go. Make our way all the way over here. Just keep shooting our hook shot. Look at that. Look how quick we're moving now. Let's get it. 
All the way over here. Come on, let's go. Get that tree, buddy. There we go. Down here. Down here. This way. Come on, yo. We're cooking. Oh, no. We didn't get that 30-second mark, but we are close. We were close to that 30-second mark. We're going to have to do this a couple times, so we, hopefully we can hit it. Oars up. The rapid race is over. Looks like that's a new record for you. Heck, yeah. Your time was 34 seconds. Not bad, all things considered. You want a secret seashell? I hear collecting these things is all the rage now. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. We get ourselves a nice secret seashell, which is just awesome here. So we're going to do this race again because there are a couple more rewards that we would like to get by doing this. So we're just going to hit ride again, spend the 100 rupees, which isn't too bad. But I believe if you get, like, under 30 seconds, he'll give you your 100 rupees back, which is just awesome. Yeah, we want to do the race once again. Let's get it. Let's get it. So this time, let's not mess up and not get stuck on these little things because we could probably get under 30 seconds. All right, let's go. Let's go. Start. Go, Link. Go. Yee. Yee. Come on. There we go. Right down here. Come on. Get down there, Link. Get down there. What the heck? This is what I'm talking about. Can I not make it back here? Why aren't you going down there, Link? This is crazy. This is just nonsense right here. We're wasting so much time. Come on, let's go. Onward. Let's go get a move on, Link. And we get moving. <laughs> there we go. We already passed 30 seconds, which is just terrible. I want to get faster to gain some rupees back, but it's okay. We did good at that end, though. Considering we waste like a solid 10 seconds. Or was up once again? Your time was 38 seconds. Guess you got hung up somewhere. Yeah, we did. You want a piece of heart? We don't give these just to anybody, you know? Okay, that's fine. These are the two rewards that we came here for, but we didn't really gain too many rupees, but that's okay. We're chilling now. You want to ride another one? Nah, we're good. We're good. If you want to get wet, we're always open. All right, man. Cool, cool, cool. Now we're just going to make our way over to this little area right here and hop off because we're done with this stupid ramp. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Right now, we're going to bring out Mambo's Mambo. We're actually going to play it so we can actually fast travel to a different position, which would be... Let's go to this, I think, the Seashell Maze. Yeah, this is where we want to go. We got a few collectibles over here that we got to collect, and we're actually going to get a new song in just a little bit, which is just awesome. So let's go, let's go. First order of business. We're going to wrap, make our way this way. What you want, fools? This is the way I want to go? Yeah, this is the exact way I want to go. Get out of here, fools. I like these little caterpillars that come out of here. Look, look at them. Ah! Get off me. Get off me, boy. But what we're actually going to do is actually bring in our hook shot once again because now that we have this item, we can do a lot more things that we couldn't do. Actually make our way down to this little stairwell right here. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. And grab ourselves this chest. As you can tell, the sensor went off, so we got another seashell. Boom. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite Legend of Zelda item? It could be in any game. Oh, look at this, guys. We got a piece of heart chilling right here. So if we come over here... You can actually dive down, grab it. But like I was saying, let me know what your favorite item in any Legend of Zelda game. Mine would probably have to be... Hmm, that's actually a tough one. Any item. There are plenty of them. The hook shot's really cool. Hmm. Let me see our items real quick. Hook shot, bombs. Dude, I've always been a big fan of, like, bow and arrows and all that. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the bow and arrow or the hook shot. I think it's between them two. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. I'm trying to think from, like, other games. But I can't really, I can't really like... Think of anything too too good right now. But what we're gonna do is actually swim around through this castle right here. And as you can tell, at the end of this waterfall, there's a seashell under it. We can actually dive down and grab it. Boom, grabbing ourselves. How many are we at now? We are just kicking it on the seashell grind right here. What are we at? 38, boy. 38 seashells. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Let's get it, baby. So what we now want to do is actually keep swimming over this way. And keep going over here. Just make our way back up to the land. Because we actually want to make our way around a section. In order to get the song that I was talking about. So we're just going to Pegasus Boot Run. Make everything ten times quicker. Oh, look at that. We're grooving along here with the Pegasus Run. Yeah, baby. That was a good one. Like, we were running for a solid couple seconds there. How did that bush stop me? Get out of my face, bush. Don't we usually chop up the bushes? Get out of here. What we want to now do is actually chop our way over here. Bring out Rock's Feather. Make sure you have Rock's Feather out. I usually have it out at all times. It's just such a such a handy tool right here. And we can make our way back to this little river over here. Get hopping. But now we can actually swim over here. And as you can tell, the sensor's going to go off. We can chop this little bush up. And now comes the seashell. 39 shells. We have 11 more to go in this whole game. Yes! We, don't, we have two more rewards left in the seashell mansion, which is just awesome because they are two very good rewards. Hey! What's your problem, fool? You want some of this? Get out my face. Get out my face. <laughs> 
Next order of business that we want to do is actually make our way over here because there's actually a section over here that we have not discovered yet because we couldn't have because we never had the hook shot. But what you fools want? Get out of here. Super Octa Rocks. If you make your way over here, you can actually hook shot this tree branch. Make your way over here. And we got these signs. So let's read the sign. It says, start here, go this way. All right, man. So we just got to follow the signs. What you want, fools? And it says go this way. What we got here? Go that way. Okay, so we're going to head right now. We got to line it up, get to this one. And all these different ones say different ways to go. And if you follow them, you get a reward at the end. Hey, what you want, bugs? Jeez, there's a lot of enemies over here. Go this way. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. hook shot. We got hook shot over here. Let's get this. Lift up this block. See which way this one tells us to go. We want to go straight up. So what we want to do is like, oh, we cannot hook shot that way. Get out of here, boy. Break that block. We got to line ourselves up with that exact sign and then go straight up this way. So it would be this one. All right, her. What's this one say? This one says go right. You actually cannot get the reward if you try like skipping all this. So you actually have to read every single sign. So go down this way. Hit up this sign. It's pretty simple. It's just kind of tedious that you gotta do all these signs. <laughs> Go up that way. I'm chopping up this grass looking for rupees and all that because we are going to need a ton soon. Like, a ton, a ton. Which one's this line up with? This one lines up right here. It just has to be in like the same lane as them. Go down this way, which means this one. Go that way. Yes, sir. You got it, Mr. Signs. We're just taking orders from a bunch of different signs, which is pretty funny. Go down again. And we got this one right at the rock. You. Smash up this way. Go that way. We're almost done. Come on. I think we're almost done. No! <laughs> of course, there's a hole down there. <laughs> and what's this one say? Great, you did it. Your reward is this way. There we go. And now a secret stairwell actually opens up with the water draining, leading to a secret area, which is awesome. This will actually give us something that we need to actually complete the game. So let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. We come down here. Look at this. We got... My boy, the King Frog over here. What's his name? Mamu. Ribbit, Ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to the previous unreleased cut. What do you say? Wow, dude. 300 rupees? Heck yeah, it's like we're paying for a concert right now. So let's get it. Let's get it, Mamu. Look, he has his little sidekick frogs to sing with him. Mm. Let's go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> This is worth the 300 rupees. Let's get it. These guys know how to jam. <laughs> Yo, dude, these frogs are jamming out. Let's get it. Look at that. Oh, little twinkle in his teeth, too. You've been a wonderful audience. No encores. Croak. And look at this, we learned the third and final song in our ocarina, which is the Frog Song of Soul. It is a very moving tune, it can even liven up the, liven up unliving things, so that's kind of a hint of what we have to do later. If you play the song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Thank you, Mr. Frog, King Frog, nice concert, I'll be at the next one, don't worry, man, don't worry. Next order of business would actually be heading back to Mabe Village and just collecting a few more things before we end off this episode. You guys know what's at Mabe Village. We got the crane shop and we got the actual shop because now that we have leftover rupees, we can actually buy some things, which is just awesome. Let's head over here, lift up this rock, huck it. Dude, Link is such a strong man. You just give him like that powerful bracelet and then you can just lift up anything. Stone elephants, like no problem, man. Just whoop, huck it out the way. Let's get it. But we can actually make our way back into this shop because we have 500 rupees, and we're going to buy this piece of heart right now. There you go. I should steal it. Because if you steal it, well, you get it for free. But next time you go in here, this dude just literally zaps you with lightning and kills you. <laughs> and then the rest of the game, you're not even known as Link anymore. Or whatever you named your character, you're named as Thief now. <laughs> Throughout, everybody will call you that. It's a pretty cool little detail. But we're actually going to make our way back to this crane shop. The trendy game shop. And we're going to go for that blooper little figurine. Let's see if we can get a first try. We've been on a roll with these things lately. But I think I just jinxed myself. So we're going to make our way up here. And then we're going to wait for that thing to go back. Once it hits that end, we're going to go for it. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Beauty. That's a beauty. <gasps> no! I even said it was a beauty. But we messed it up. Are you kidding me? It looks so good. No, our streak is over. So now we got to play again. Waste another 10 rupees in order to get this thing. Well, hopefully just another 10 rupees. Let's get it. 
So we're gonna hit this thing up when it's moving back to the left, I think. So once it hits like the middle, I think we're gonna go. Right now. Go, 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 go! Come on, that's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. <gasps> Bruh. Bruh. No! <laughs> Actually, he's just standing still now, which is pretty good. That's not too bad. Could still be on a thing, but he's just standing. Oh no, he's gonna be pushed back and forth. Are you kidding me? We gotta get this fool. No, now he's pushing like that corner. Come on, push him a little bit. Get him. Get him. Come on, that's money. <gasps> oh my lord. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Bruh. We were wasting tons of rubies. And now it's back in that position. This game is just toying with me. That thing better not pick it up. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Yes! <laughs> Don't fall out. Oh my god, that one took us... How many tries? Was that our fifth try right there? They're just toying with us here, stealing all of our rupees. This game is rigged, I tell you. It's rigged. Challenge again. Uh-uh. We're done with you. We're done with you. Get out my face, man. We're down at 300 rupees. We need to start farming some more because we're going to need a lot later on. Let's go. You got the pooper fi figurine. It's not so menacing outside the water. Yeah, those punks are a pain inside the water. If you ever played a Mario game, they just hunt you down and everything. But now we can actually make our way all the way over here to this little house where we can actually place the blooper figurine in its place. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, old man Wilkers. I don't even know his name. I forget it. But if we walk over here, is this a stand for something? It says blooper. Place the blooper, the blooper figure here. Yeah, here you go. I want that stew right there. Look how nice it looks. But we're good. Look how nice that blooper figurine looks right there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be collecting a couple more things and heading up to our seventh and final dungeon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.